Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Survival Evolved Let's Play. And in this episode, I plan on basically getting all of our uh, amenities for the house. So another not super exciting one, but I have all the resources to finish this. So, three, two, one, and there we go. It probably doesn't look very much different, <coughs> except I actually finished it now. It's actually done. Got all the greenhouse glass in place. Roof in here is done. We have a house buff, which is nice. Um, for the walls, because there were holes in the side, I just did this. I had, I was going to try and just use that one, but I couldn't get the ceiling or the wall correctly, so I had to place one out farther. And it's just the same, but mirrored over here on this side. So yeah. But I really like how this these houses turned out they look real nice and also this is one thing i forgot to bring up in the last episode where for some reason it just would not let me snap a ramp right here correctly where it was facing that way i can on that side all the way across except and then obviously like these two sides it the, the snap points are just messed up so you can't but this one, it works properly all the way along here, except for this one spot right here. And I don't know why. It's really weird, but, heh. Guess I'll have to deal with it. But, okay, so now, oops, let's put that back down there. I think first order of business is probably getting some storage down, because that'll make everything else a lot easier. And I think I'm going to use this house for storage. Probably just like line the back wall. Maybe even just line that wall and this wall with storage. I don't know. I just know on here we get a lot of junk from missions. We can do that. And then that one will be for all the stuff that requires electricity and all the crafting stuff. So... I'll go turn any remaining wood, fiber, and thatch that I have into large storage box. And actually, do I even have those relearned? I do not. Let's learn those. All right. Now I can do that. And actually, I just realized I don't know if these houses are big enough to fit a tech replicator inside of them. I don't think. I mean, it'll fit inside, but I think I might stick through the roof a bit. I don't know, because I am gonna want to get a tech replicator on here at some point. But it's not that big of a deal. We just place it out here if we need to. We'll cross that road when we get there. Or heck, we can place it in between the two houses. I don't even know. I'm just kind of rambling right now. Oh, hey, another mic. There's so many microbe swarms just like around this ocean platform, and I have no idea why. It's weird. I mean, I guess I won't complain. But, okay, I made 25 of these, which I will get lined up, which is not that. And I made a smithy as well, so we can start just moving everything down here. I do still need to make like a bed and stuff, but that's no big deal. All right, there we go. Oops, I prevent, present to you, not prevent, the great wall of storage. And that's like half of it. That's 25 storage boxes though, so that will last for quite a while. I'll probably at some point just expand it to there, just to make it a huge wall. But hey, we'll like literally never run out of storage on here now. And let's go in the other building and place the smithy. And I really honestly don't need to close these doors because this is an ocean platform. And stuff that can get inside these houses really won't make its way on top here. Uh, let's... Hmm. I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh... So I want things to be spread out kind of in here so I have an actual excuse to run around and not just stick in one spot. Because <laughs> from past experience with Minecraft, especially, if you have one room that's a dedicated storage room in your house, you're never going to leave that room. <laughs> so yeah, let's place that there. That's why I'm spreading this out. And I wanted a lot of space, so... Got it. Ah, that is laggy. But there. 
Yeah, I don't know. I just like how these look. Kind of mirroring each other. I now that we have all the storage, we'll start bringing a bunch of stuff down here. Okay, I have everything moved down here from up there. I left all the structures, but I just kind of pilfered all the items from them. So now, let's see, things we're going to need are a fabricator, a generator, electric cable. I honestly don't know how I'll do that, so I'll just learn those. Um, what else? A chemistry bench, a refrigerator, and a cryo fridge. And yeah, let's learn crowd pods, why not, even though I can buy some. And, oh, actually, I don't know where I'm going to craft a crowd fridge on this map. Because you can't craft them in the mission terminals. And there aren't any beacons or supply drops. Okay, I might have to go to another map just to craft one really quickly. Um, but what else? I think that's everything. Guess I'll look through this and just see if there's anything else I think I'll need. Oh, we're going to need a grill. Yeah. Forgot about that. Okay, after realizing I had some stuff in Simba's inventory as well, now, what do we need? Oh, just oil? Okay. I guess... Hmm. I'm trying to remember. I know I've seen oil, like where you can just mine it out of the ground. I want to say... Okay, I know I've seen it in the Arctic biome. But I also kind of want to say I've seen in the volcanic. And actually, we did get some fur armor. So just in case we have to go into a... I'm going to go to the Arctic biome. But just in case we have to go into an area that's kind of cold. I'll just grab a couple of those. Oops, that should be good. So we can survive at least a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to head over there. Oh, hey, there's a glitch back there. Past the... Angry Theory, which can probably get to me right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. What level are you? Oh, you're 95. No, don't push me off the edge. It's me. There we go. Give me this. That doesn't sound pleasant. I've never. <laughs> I, I actually don't know if sleet storms or like hail storms are a thing in this biome because I've never experienced one. But my time in this biome is also very limited because this isn't one of the ones I spent much time in. But, okay, I'm almost to the top. Now, I thought I remembered there being oil mixed in with the obsidian and metal and crystal along the way. But I haven't had any luck finding any dodos. I forgot dodos were up here. Yay. Yeah, because it's just like obsidian. Huh? No, I remember the oil rocks looking like obsidian. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just keep running. Micro raptor. Like up here, I I thought I specifically remember there being oil in some places. Uh, from all the times I'd come up here for like metal and uh, crystal and obsidian. Oh yeah, there's oil. Uh, you know, I should probably take care of this before I hop off because this is going to be bad for my health if I don't. Why are you pushing me around so much? Come on. 
And yes, you're X flavored, so you're gonna take less damage. And you're 95? Yeah, okay. Huh. But yeah, this is the oil that I was thinking of. Probably should have just gone to the volcanic biome. Probably would have had a better time finding it over there, but whatever. <laughs> I'm already here, and there's some more, so I'm just gonna mine up all the oil I can find up here, or at least all that I can carry, if that comes first. And then I'll go back. I don't want this crystal or stone, though. You are a cool looking fairy, but you are low level. And what level is that bear? Oh, 20. I'm gonna wanna get a bear, because I'm gonna wanna tame a giant bee. And like a bear isn't necessary to tame a giant bee at some point, but it's it makes it easier. So, because we'll definitely have to do that if I want to start getting the highest tier of kibble easier. Because that's the main reason I haven't been making. I mean, okay, the Lazarus chowder is annoying to make, but it's just getting the bee honey, which is kind of a pain as well. Mark, let you serve as a warning. Be careful what you wish for. Survivor 710D439 was obsessed with breaking the fourth wall, as he put it. He did everything he could to get the attention of whomever's administering the simulation. Bonfires, structures that spell words, that sort of thing. I don't know whether he succeeded, but I do know he tried so hard that it made that glitch. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't think there's any more oil over here, but let me... Actually, I've kind of just done my round already. I don't see any. Oh, that's fun. Uh, why is it always dire wolves? You know what? I could probably climb up on top of that and just use that teleport home. Oh, no, there's one more oil thing. Any wolves chasing me? Oh, hand, I'm still freezing with all the fur I have on. Alright, that means I actually have to get out of here. Yeah. I mean, we're not freezing fast, but it's negative 6 degrees. That would ex actually, I just want to see really quickly. Oh, that's so... Yeah, we're dying really fast if I take this off. Okay, we have to probably go home. Alright. I have enough oil anyway, so it's fine. You know, the constant whirlpools that just happen over here... Make me kind of wonder if this isn't the greatest place to keep underwater tames, because I actually don't know if they will get sucked down into that when I'm not riding them. Because I know they will if I am riding them, I just don't know if that's the case otherwise. But we don't need to worry about that right now because I don't have underwater tames on here. Let's make ourselves one of those. And I don't... how many of these? Yeah, I would need to get more. Cementing paste, presumably, but I don't really want to make another mortar and pestle. I'd probably just wait till I can make a chemistry bench. Let's put the fabricator right here. I think that's good. I'll just line it up. All right, that looks pretty lined up to me. So let's get that right there. And now, oh, you know, it's just never-ending cycle of me needing things. It's kind of, kind of great. But I should make more refining forges to have down here because now I need gasoline to run that. And I mean, I could just I could just go use the ones I have up there because I didn't demolish them. But I could also make some for down here, which I think I might just go do. Which means I need stone and flint and all the good stuff. So actually, wait, how much is it from here? Because I'm lazy. Uh, I don't remember if it's wood or fiber or what. Let's see, refining forge. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think I'll just go get all the resources because you know, I'm trying to save my hexagon so we can tame a ferox, and that's not the right storage box. But. If I just spend them on dumb things like that, then it's never going to happen. And I didn't put that in the right one either. I'm trying to be organized on here, and it's not working out. And you know what? Not, not used to a fancy new base. But yeah, okay, now... 
I guess I'll head to like the bog or something. Here, I know I was talking about fungal wood the other day and like get where to get it in the bog. It's from these things, these like tall fungusy things. You just get it from this. So yeah, if whenever, if ever I get around to making cliff platforms, that's where I'll get it from. And do I have everything? New, no, I need hide and fiber. Hello, hide. Give me your hide. Please. I would much appreciate it. And don't fart on me. Alright. You can have some of this. I don't need it right now. And just drop me off. Whoa! I am so lucky that that missed. Uh, Capros. I don't like Capros. How many of these can I make? Two? Uh, where is this stone? Oops. There we go. Three should be good. Well, let's just make a fourth one because I had four. So why not just keep that going? Now can I make a fourth? Yes, I can. There we go. So now I'll just see you back at base. Hmm, I know I'm going to need polymer. I don't really want to buy all that. And I'm going to need electronics. I know I could go to the lunar biome for that, but I really don't know. I'm still not confident in going to the lunar biome just on Simba. If I'm being totally honest. Well, actually, we could go get... Okay, right now... Let's just leave these guys in here. It's fine. Um, we could go get some silica pearls because we're going to need those if we're going to make electronics. And no electrophorus. There's one over there. Please don't come and shock me. There's a fish swarm. Ah, uh, we should be fine. But you get silica pearls on here from these clam things. You just harvest them. You get silk pearls and fish meat. There's a donkey down there. Oh, another fish swarm. Is that a fish swarm? Doesn't look like one. Oh, no, it is. Why is there so many fish swarms around here? I used to have such a hard time finding them, and now they're just, like, everywhere. Is that enough silk pearls? Eh, probably not. Oh, that's fun. Those things do a ton of damage if they hit you. They do like 20 damage per tick. So let's get out of the water. Mmm, that should be good for now. But I will definitely need more silk pearls in the future. Actually, how many, how much are electronics? Good day, survivor. Here's what I've got. 700 for 5. That's more than the polymer. Okay, so I'm probably not buying that either. But some of this should be done. Yeah. Alright, so we can at least probably make a generator. I would guess. Yeah. And maybe a refrigerator if I buy the polymer. Possibly, maybe possibly, probably not. I think, hmm, because I kind of want to just do the thing where I'll place the generator in the corner and then just have a stick going, like a electrical wire going straight up and it can just snap to everything. Can place all the stuff kind of in the corner. I might just do that. Should work, I think. So in that case, just do one of those as well. Oops, electric. Uh, I just need the polymer and crystal, which I know I can buy the polymer, but I'm going to need so much I might as well just go get a bunch of obsidian to make it. And I have crystal in here. Okay. So I'll just place that like that. And that right there. Alright, and then we can just place the other stuff kind of around it in range. And I don't know why I took the electronics out of there. I'm just going to need to leave them in here. Okay. Well, I go, oh, but it's nighttime now. You know what? I guess I'm going to the volcano then. 
So I was gonna say I'm gonna, I might go to the snow biome to get obsidian, but it was already freezing cold. Now it's nighttime, so it's gonna be even colder. So let's go to the volcanic biome and get obsidian from there. Should be easier since I won't be freezing cold and I have the desert cloth on. Oh yeah, look, there's oil right there. I could have just come over here. Whoops! And there's oil right there. All right. Yeah, it would have been easier to come over here for oil, but whatever. It's all right. And watch, and now I'm gonna have a hard time finding obsidian. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. I've been here for like five seconds, so can't say I'm having a hard time finding obsidian. Yeah, now get out of my way. I know you're trying to attack me, Basilisk, but I'd appreciate it if you let me by. There, okay, well. Let's focus on fighting something else, so we're fine. There's some obsidian. Took me a little bit, but there's some. And I don't need too, too much right now. I'll need a bunch when I'm making the chemistry bench, but I can do that in trips, because I don't think I'll be able to carry all that in once. Oh, I just threw out the shadow stick. My bad, but I don't feel the need to really grab it because, oops, it didn't mean to eat either. Just making all the mistakes. Honestly, might be worthwhile to tame an Argent. Like, even though you can't use flyers on Genesis, just to have something that can follow you with, like, obsidian weight reduction would be nice. Because I know we have the Anki, but the Anki doesn't even really harvest more obsidian it's like mar it's a little more oh boy i heard that thorny dragon but it wasn't mad at me okay i should probably go back actually because it's a decently we're de pretty heavy already so yeah i can't really care much more if i wanted to either all right so it's just a mix of everything not that big of a deal, because I have metal over here and I can just buy everything else. Uh, I should just grab that. That should be enough, because we need 200 metal, I believe. And we have a little over 100. Yep. Perfect. And we just need a little bit of crystal. And some ending paste. There we go. And... There we go. Structures. There we go. Now we can have a grill. Perfect. And now I don't have to wait for my food to cook in a campfire, so that'll be good. Okay, I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna place this next to the generator. So I'll line this up now. Perfect. Alright, so now I should grab. I don't even remember if I grabbed the remaining of the gasoline out of here. No, I did not. Alright, well, I'll take that and just put it in the generator. And now, all those other, like, stews and stuff that we got from the missions, I can just pot put them in there. There we go. So that Simba doesn't have to be my refrigerator anymore. And now they should last slightly longer. There we go. And hmm. I probably won't place that right there because I uh, will probably want more, like another refrigerator. And I'll probably put the craft fridge there. And chemistry bench. Ah, see, now I have to think about where I want to place the grill. Actually, I could honestly just put the grill in here. I might do that. Just put it like against one of the walls. Just put it over here. Since I guess now all of our perishable foods are in the uh, other room or other house because that's where the refrigerators are and actually that looks pretty lined up already. Yeah. Uh, but since our perishable food storage is in there, I guess where we'll be making it is in here. I mean, I don't have an industrial cooker, which I will make at some point, but we don't have one on any of the maps. There we go. So I'm just trying to make it, I don't know why I closed that, but I'm just trying to make it where I can't just stay in one building and get resources, which I know is making it less convenient for me, but I don't know, I 
think it'd be nice just having to run back and forth rather than just like staying in this one or something or just like staying in this one over here but yeah I now ooh it's the long grind for a chemistry bench and a uh, what you call it, cryo fridge and everything like that. But I don't know. I will. I think that's probably gonna do it for this one. I know I didn't do a mission or anything like that. Sorry about that, but uh, <laughs> I I still have a lot of grinding I need to do, and that'll just eat into my editing time. <laughs> I'll do that like after I edit, but. Yeah, so I will make sure I have all the resources and probably those things crafted for the next episode, though. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I really probably want to try and... I want to try and tame something fun in the next episode, whether... It'll probably be, like, a Ferox or something, but I need to get a bunch of... I need to get a bunch of Hexagons so I can buy more elements. So maybe it'll just be some missions. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. I want to do that soon, though, tame a Ferox. That sounds really fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.